<laughs> Dear Madonna, aging is a gift. That is probably the most boring title ever, but it's certainly appropriate. Madonna seems to be trending online lately for weird reasons, so let's have a look at this cry for help a little closer. But before we get into it, you're welcome to my army of answers, where we talk about the deep truths people tend to miss. To join us, hit subscribe, turn on notifications so you never miss another episode of a Nigerian Tech with Dio. And whilst you're at it, don't forget to like and share this video. Recently, I was really mad at one of my favorite all-time artists, Fireboy DML. If you've never listened to Nigerian music, I recommend you check him out. He's amazing. I'm sure you're wondering what this has to do with Madonna. Well, turns out, just like me, Madonna is a huge fan of Fireboy DML, and she requested for him to collaborate with her on her remix of Frozen, which, by the way, is one of my favorite all-time songs. Instead of being ecstatic that one of my favorite artists was on the remix of one of my favorite songs, I was quite mad because I heard that Madonna had cut him out of all the publicity for the song because Fireboy had apparently disrespected her. So, I investigated and I was super furious at him when I saw the video of what he did. I will get more into that messy situation a bit later and trust me, it's very relevant. But first, let's take a look at some of Madonna's recent hits together. She's just so old. I mean, at 65, it's really no surprise that she's hanging on to a bar to dance. But let's move on. Oh, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh, I need to I need to say this about this particular clip. All those young ladies that are doing BBLs to try and make their behind look bakery like. I hope you can see your future. I hope you can see how that ends. I feel like people most people don't think about their life in its entirety. So people make these decisions at such a young age, forgetting that one day you're going to turn 40, you're going to turn 60, and then that fake thing that you put there is going to start to look so weird. And the craziest thing, the craziest thing about the human mind is the sorts of people that are, are bothered about body, their body image so much that they are willing to go alter it, like many of these artists and celebrities are, are also the same types of people who are the least likely to come to terms with how horrible that starts to look when you're older. These types of people tend to still be bothered about it. And Madonna, as you can see from some of her behavioral patterns, is one of those people. Oh, oh, oh no. Where did my team get these? Oh, oh Lord, is that, is that his class? Mm, how do I, how do I unsee that? It's so cringe. It just, this one is just cringe. Yeah. Okay, he's dragging the chair. Drag, ooh! Okay. Did you, did you see that? The, you know, she just shrugged the guy off like, ooh, I'm such a great professional. I can stand on my own two feet. It doesn't matter that I'm 65 and I really should not be doing these things to myself because it just looks cringe and no one is impressed. This is something I've done in the past where I'm forming bad guy, like we would say in Nigeria, like when you're, you're acting independent and you can do things on your own. Somebody came to help you and you're like shrugging them off that no no i'm fine rock on it's okay to just accept it doesn't mean you're weak basically in the process of you trying to look uh, like you're unstoppable or independent or whatnot and again i've had to learn this from a personal from several personal experience honestly it took me a while to actually get this because i'm quite self-sufficient so sometimes it uh, it interferes with me letting people help me essentially so i've had to drop that 
on the wayside and understand that just because someone is trying to offer you a hand doesn't mean that you're weak. You're okay. You're still self-sufficient. You're still deal. You're still who you are. You're still a god. <laughs> That's an inside joke that I would explain on another episode. You're still that, but you can accept help. And it really comes from a place of trying to prove a point. And sometimes you don't need to prove a point. It doesn't give the optics that you want it to give, is what I'm saying. Okay, Prama Donna. I saw terrible things. <laughs> my god <laughs> squidward is that you <laughs> and madonna's response to people calling her out is to accuse everyone of being ageist and of course like everything else these days it, the problem is always other people and never you so this whole thing of uh being in your prime and having people pay attention to you all the days of your life there's something deep that is underlying about this according to the bible right there are nine there are like 10 commandments that were given and the ninth and the tenth were against coveting don't covet another man's wife don't covet another man's property but coveting isn't just applied to those, you know, the, the older I get, the more I realize how bad coveting is, like how much damage it actually does to society. Practically every war that has ever started anywhere is based on coveting. Somebody coveted another person's land or somebody coveted another person's wife. Coveting is as a result of greed. Try and follow the pattern I'm, I'm creating here. When you're greedy, you're not satisfied or contented with what you have. And so you start to covet what somebody else has. So that's why coveting is such a deadly sin, because people tend to have a negative reaction to that. So when people are calling Madonna out and saying that Madonna is misbehaving, it's because she herself is coveting. She's coveting youth. And that is ugly basically. So back to the Fireboy versus Madonna situation. Some of you might be wondering why I even brought it up. Well, this is what he did. Take a look. She sent me a DM. <laughs> she sent you a DM? Actually, she sent a DM since 2019. She's always been a fan. But like, fast forward to 2022, she sent me a DM. Like, I want to be a part. I want you to be a part of my classic. I'm like, of course. I'm down. I know. I know. It doesn't seem like such a big deal. But if you observe deeper, he's not talking about Madonna like the pop icon she is, or at least she's meant to be. He is instead talking like she's some groupie fangirl of his he decided to collaborate with as some sort of favor. To put it into context, just imagine if Jason Durello, for instance, did a collaboration with Michael Jackson, rest his soul, and then spoke about Michael like a fanboy afterwards. Yeah, everyone everywhere would have his head and he would be cancelled for life. So that's the problem here. Why would Fireboy DML, an artist who isn't even considered one of the A-list artists in Nigeria, talk about Madonna like that? I was initially disappointed in his behavior, but after her recent antiques started popping up online, I came to understand why. He simply treated her the way she must have presented herself. It no longer mattered that she has been in the scene doing it for such a long time or that she is over 60 years old. She didn't act her age and she got floored as a result. Somehow, not acting your age has become something to celebrate in the West, especially from the left-wingers. There's this fixation with always being in your prime, which is <laughs> downright weird to me because... Why on earth would you want that? What are you, some kind of psycho? Your prime is like a very delicious meal, yeah? It's great when you have it, but if you eat that same meal every day for the rest of your life, you will hate it and hope to never see or taste it ever again. You're meant to enjoy your prime so that when it's no longer there, you have good memories to keep you going. Aging is a gift because not aging is stagnancy. And stagnancy is a terrible feeling. Matter of fact, it's probably the worst feeling on the planet. People move on and you're still where you were. 
even if even if that place is on top of the world as the biggest superstar in the whole world, there will come a time where you no longer want that. You know, maybe Madonna is doing all of this to hang on to something because she probably has no real friends because no one with real friends would be doing all that. Maybe being a star is all she has. And that's indeed a sorry existence. My recommendation is cherish what is important in your life and leave the vague materialistic stuff alone. Because if you don't, you just might end up in a sea of emptiness, just like Madonna here, who clearly, clearly doesn't know what to do with herself. My name is Dio, and thank you for watching. Guys, like I always say, I may be completely off the mark on this one. If you agree, you disagree, leave a comment below, and I will see you on the next one. Madabo.